Hi everyone, so let's do the rotary lock question here. And in this question we have a lock that we're trying to open and it's got numbers from 1 to n, capital N, which is also a parameter in the function here we're supposed to write. And we're also given a list of integers, c, which is a sequence of integers that you need to, um, you need to get to on the lock here, right? So, um, and, and the goal here is to minimize the movement required to get through all the integers, right, in, in the order that it's given. So, for example, we could have like 9, 4, 4, 8 or something. So, you always start at 1. The wheel initially is pointing at 1, right? So, then, so you have to go from 1 to 9. What was it? 9, 4, 4, 8. And then, and then you, you get to get to 4, so you can go around this way or that way, right? And then there's another 4 and then 8, so you probably want to go around this way. And so, yeah, the problem is to minimize the, again, the, the movement required to get, you know, to, to, to get through all the list of integers. Um, so at every step, you have a choice of going clockwise or counterclockwise, and you're supposed to pick the, the option that gives you, I mean, the, you're supposed to pick the shorter distance, right? So let's write some code to, to solve this problem. Um, and so I'll create a variable called cur, which keeps track of the current position. So we start at one, and then I'm gonna return out, right? Which is the, the total movement um, uh, required to get through all the integers. Um, so I'm just gonna create a loop here to solve the problem. So for c in c, and then we're going to add something to out here, which is the, the shorter distance um, between going clockwise and counterclockwise. So we can use modular arithmetic here to help us. So, for example, if you want to go from 1 to 2, um, that's a distance of 1. Um, 2 minus 1 is 1, right? Uh, but if you go the other way, um, that's a distance of 9, right? So you could think of it as um, a distance of minus 1 here. If you subtract one, uh, 2 from 1, you get minus 1. And minus 1 mod 10 is 9, right? So we can, uh, we can use modular arithmetic to, to calculate the bo you know, both distances, right? So we have c minus cur mod n and cur minus c mod n. Right, and we want the minimum of those two things. All right, and then we update our current variable to be C, and that should solve the problem for us. Um, if you don't know much about modular arithmetic, you can obviously look it up. It's um, often useful in computer science problems. So, all right, yeah, we passed our test cases. Hopefully that made a bit of sense. If you have a better solution, uh, feel free to share in the comments. Um, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.